last week I posted a video uh, about the modification that I did to my jumper T light radio with the uh, TBS Crossfire Nano module. Um, if you can see in that video, uh, basically what I, I had was that uh, uh, I can I can power on the TBS Crossfire module without having my radio turned on. So as you can see, my radio is currently off and I can just switch on the TBS Crossfire module by toggling this switch. Okay, but before I go into detail about the modification, uh, for those who are not aware um, uh, why I had this modification on my jumper T-Lite, uh, if you're not aware, there's actually an issue with the jumper T-Lite radio running in TBS Crossfire Nano module. Um, I will not go into detail because there are quite a number of videos out there uh, explaining about this issue. Uh, you can check out videos from, uh, I think, Gail Kramers, um, Albert Kim, I think both of them spoke quite extensively about the issues. Uh, you need to check out their videos to fully understand uh, the problem. Uh, in my case, um, uh, I had I set my TBS Crossfire module at 250 milliwatts, and when I flew my quad um, last week, I had a fail-safe uh, mid-flight, uh, just 25 meters out. And I had a RX loss, so the quad dropped. Uh, luckily, I, I didn't. I was not flying high, so um, other than a damaged prop, other, otherwise the quad was fine. But for me, I said okay, I had no choice. I had to do the mod modification. So, uh, like I said, check out the video. And about the modification itself, uh, actually, the modification that I did is based on Albert Skin video on on the modification that he did to his um, jumper T light. Uh, the only thing that I did or I improvised a little bit was I added this switch you can see over here. Okay, uh, in Albert skin video he will have he'll run the wire directly to the TBS crossfire module. So there's no way to toggle the power on and off. So I just improvised a bit uh, and just added this switch. Um, if you're wondering where I got the switch um, it actually came out from one of my old radios. I think it was from my Hubson H501S uh, 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 drone uh, and the controller. Okay, so as you can see, like I said just now, um, I can power on the TBS Crossfire module by toggling the switch. Okay, and it, 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 it's, it's running just fine right now. Um, a couple of days ago, in fact, yesterday, uh, somebody posted a question uh, on on that particular video. Um, uh, someone by the name of Ama posted this question. Um, the question was, uh, would powering the Crossfire module with a power brick into the USB-C work? Um, I, I, I would assume when Ama said the word power brick, I assume is power bank so I think what he meant and I assume Ama is is a, is a guy okay I assume it's a guy um, uh, so uh, his question will the USB type C charging still works um, initially I, I never tried that okay I know I can charge my I, I'll charge my jumper T light when it's off um, I've never tried having my radio turn on at the same time charging it. Uh, uh, now that I even have this modification, um, uh, when I replied to Alma, I, I told him that, you know, I, I was not, I don't think I wanted to test. You know, I, I was worried I might, you know, um, short circuit the charging board, something like that. But I think the, <laughs> the curiosity got the better of me and I actually tested it out. So I can confirm one thing. Um, just to show you, uh, let me just power on my radio first. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, uh, and okay, my TPS module, let me just power it on. Okay, let's go to the system menu. You can see this.
as you can see right now I've set my TPS cross fire module uh, module at 500 milliwatts okay so uh, let's see what happens if I plug in the USB so I I have here a power bank um, okay so it has two ports I think the bottom uh, USB port I think this one the output is 1 amp and the one on the top is 2.1 amps so yeah I've, I've tested it before um, so let me just plug in and then actually so you just you just have a look at the LED lights so right now when the jumper chi light is in switched on when it's switched on the LED is actually green and if it's switched on and if you if you're charging the light is blue so if you can see right now if I plug in see that the light actually does a bit of you can see that a bit of change in terms of LED it's, it, it, it's, it's between green and blue uh, you can see that again if I plug the power again I'm not sure you can see that but yeah but just to confirm that so far uh, I've tried this one out in fact um, uh, when, I, when I tested it earlier I had my battery at I think it was already 4.0 volts and then when I plug in my battery bank um, apparently I was it was charging the radio at the same time so um, so far it worked uh, I don't know whether there's going to be some long term effect if I do this but uh, for me at least it's good to know that uh, I have this ability to plug in my power bank to the radio at the same time having the uh, uh, TBS cross fire module running same time whenever if, I, if I'm flying and I don't need to have the radio power on I can just like toggle off the power to the TPS crossfire module. So, yeah, you can see that the color of the LED right now is not it's not green, it's blue. Okay, so it's normal charging. But if I, yeah, so yeah, you can see even if you can see the voltage just now when I first turned on the radio, I think it was four point two. Right now, it's up to four point three. Okay, so yeah, that's. That's just a quick uh, explanation on the modification I did and the question whether I can still charge my jumper T light with a power bank at the same time having the uh, cross light module running with the modification that I did. Alright, okay, thank you very much. I'll see you guys around.